what's up guys Mark here from VIP shop management this is a tutorial video on how to use fleet account I mean this is for the pro version as a lot of things has changed since what is fleet account in the first place imagine that you have a company like Sintas or a company or the mail or, or the cops right you know they want you to service their vehicles basically you need to have an account for them and they're gonna make payments and we need to apply the payments to multiple invoices instead of just one right because it's be a lot if we put these invoices right here it's gonna be crowded and it's gonna be a problem we cannot keep track we need an account for them that's what fleet account how to make any account fleet account it's really simple as you go to your customers let's search for all fleet this is a fleet account right here click on hold and go to more options you see this one is fleet all you have to do is turn this one on and if it's a person or a business and save once you make a fleet account a fleet account it will give you the option to it's either pay that invoice or post it to a statement where you can have a statement with multiple invoices let's let's create an, uh, an estimate real quick let's say we just did an old chain on this vehicle authorize authorize and then you see how it says post or pay if I click on that see now it says I can pay it right now because you're gonna have these situations or I can send it to statement post a statement see I already have five invoices there and that's how much they, they owe us already current balance and we're gonna confirm and that's how much they owe us right now six invoices 2461 let's go manage those statement those invoices move myself right here we have something called fleet statement see now everything is organized under one account if i click on it see this is all the invoices what options do you have you can here's the options you can make you can pay any individual invoice at any time number one number two you can make a payment and vip will automatically apply the payment to those invoices and close them as if they're fully paid or you can make a specific pay those specific invoices you're gonna get that I, I, it's funny i can understand it but you're gonna get where where they're gonna tell you i need to pay those two invoices separately you can do that let's start the first one let's say you know i want to make a payment so make a payment one thousand dollar cash pay invoice and look what happened on the right side look paid paid partially paid brilliant brilliant what we did we took that 1000 divided into section and we the whatever change left we applied it to the last invoice right here left last invoice it's brilliant if you messed up no problem view payments click on that payment delete it sorry confirm look what's gonna happen on the right side unpaid 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 brilliant the beauty of it you cannot mess up you can't that's why it's you can delete the payment it doesn't matter it's not the end of the world let's go back again make a payment 1000 cash look at look how beautiful it is paid 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 partially paid let's say i want to try to close the statement right now close statement when you close the statement and you still have unpaid invoices here's what happens basically we'll, we'll close that statement we'll create a new statement with the new invoices which is going to happen but in this case if you look i'm trying to close it says minimum payment requirement is six dollar nineteen cents so we need to to close we cannot have a partial payment to close statement because we need to track those payments so for me to close the statement it's really simple All i have to do is apply a payment of let's go back make a payment 619 Six nineteen. I said check. He wrote his check. Look, because I'm allowed to close the statement, even VIP shop management reminds you, hey, would you like to close the statement for the paid invoices and create a new statement for the new for the unpaid invoices? Let's say yes. Go ahead and do it. Close. What's gonna happen now? Close statement. Sorry. There we go. And look what happened basically it closed the statement for the old one and it's it's under the air so it's under fleet statement see we had these three invoices we closed the statement statement number was <coughs> it was 
number 63 now a new one's number 64 and it has three invoices and so that way we keep everything clean because this is unending uh, invoices right they're gonna bring you more cards every month if I were trying to call statement right now it's gonna say well you, you need to make payment first all right so what else what else we can do let's pay uh, let's say you know they want you to pay those two invoices how can I do that pay specific invoices click on this click on this click pay selected invoices VIP is gonna give you total automatically let's say they wrote us a check and pay and VIP is gonna say close it you would like to close the statement close statement and then done and now you only have one invoice so you are in control my friend it's a brilliant way no other shop management have what we have none why if anything they probably you know they're copying us right now as we speak but you you could never copy a Lamborghini man keeping that in mind all right so let's another thing that we have brilliant check this out let's say they want us to send them he, they just paid the statement or before either or before they paid and what and we want to email all these invoices how can we do that let's click on email and we have something called attach all invoices let's attach all these invoices attach and VIP it's gonna create a PDF file for each invoice click send and let me see if I can show you how that look like all right I just got it right here and this is how it looks like look at this this is this is a paid one usually it will tell them the balance due to zero status paid and look this is a statement with all the payments in it let's zoom in a little bit to see what we're dealing with here all all each every single invoice in here and with the status and with every payment they made that's number one they're gonna love you for that we care about your customers and the other one look the invoices are right here each one two three four. if you don't have VIP shop management you are missing out my friend why is that because I'll make sure of it thanks for watching